This is Franco from WizDefy and welcome to Excel Quick Tips. In this video, we're going to be talking about pivot tables and VLOOKUP and when to use each of them. Which one do you use when you want to extract single values from different tables and which one do you use when you want to summarize large data sets? Let's get straight to that. So here we have two data sets. We have the sales for the day, which contains the order ID, the sales rep, the region, the product, and the quantity sold. And in the other tab, we have a table for our inventory listing. This contains items and their corresponding prices. So what do we have to do here? We have to fill out total sales. And to do that, we first have to fill out unit price. If you're going to fill out single values, or you're going to match two tables together and recall single values based on the key that we're using, the best tool to use in that situation is actually our VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is used for finding single values, while pivot tables, on the other hand, are used for summarizing large data sets instead. So don't get them mixed up. How do we use this in practice? It's really simple. VLOOKUP, you might have seen before. So simply, we put our VLOOKUP formula there. We specify the value that can be found in both tables. So in this case, that's product because you can see product in the sales for the day column. And that actually corresponds to our item column in the inventory listing. So we specify our table and we specify which column to bring back. So we want the price and price is actually the second column in this table. So we press two. We want an exact match, so we press zero, and we're good. We simply have to drag this formula down. And for total sales, this is really simple. That's just our unit price multiplied by our quantity. And we drag that down too. All right, so we used VLOOKUP to fill out the table by referencing another table and extracting single values from that table according to a similar value or a unique key in this table. What do we use pivot tables for? Do we use that to fill out data or rows in a table? Mostly it's used to summarize data. So let's see that in action right now. How do we use pivot tables up in your ribbon up here? You press insert and you press pivot table. It'll ask you to specify the table or range. Currently, I have table one selected, and it'll ask you where you want to see the pivot table. I want to see that in a separate tab or worksheet. So I just press OK. And now, what I can do with that pivot table is that I can summarize information how I want it in the blink of an eye. So let's say that I want to see my sales per region. And I want to see the total sales. So I just click these two items and bam. I have it right in front of me. I can see the total sales for east, north, south, and west. And I can see the grand total as well. What if I don't want to see it by region, but I want to see the breakdown of total sales per product that I sold? That's fine. I just uncheck the region and click the tick box for product. And now I can see the breakdown of my total sales per product. It's that simple. And you can even do other things with the pivot tables. What if I want to see that data in one table? I want to see the breakdown per region, per product as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click both region and product. And as you can see, if you keep both of those items in the row section down here, what's going to happen is that it'll list it as components to a main section. If you don't want that, you can just click and drag and move that to the column section. And now I have some sort of a matrix, right? I can see the laptops and how many laptops were sold for East, which is practically zero, right? I have sold $400 worth of laptops in the North section, none for the South, and 1,400 for the West section. So you can use pivot tables to summarize data how you want it in the blink of an eye, but is it used to link two tables together? Can it find single values for you? The answer is no. So don't get too confused. 
because pivot table isn't even a formula. It's a different function entirely compared to VLOOKUP, but they both have their uses. Just like when you're building a house, a saw isn't going to hammer a nail in and a hammer isn't going to cut wood in half properly. So you just have to know which tools you're working with, depending on the outcome that you want to achieve. So as a quick refresher, again, you use VLOOKUPs for finding single values and you use pivot tables to summarize large data sets. Again, this is Franco with Wizdify, and thank you for watching Excel Quick Tips. If you want to get even better at Excel, check out our other videos.